Hey guys, it's Mike. I just wanted to uh, give a little update. Sorry, I've been sick for weeks now with the flu. Uh, I'm pretty bad. So, I've still been recovering. I haven't been up to full strength or full speed lately. I've been getting back into getting orders done during Christmas time. Everything slowed down, kind of thank goodness, because, you know, I needed some family time and then getting sick. I didn't need a whole lot of order, orders piling up. So right now I'm finishing up a, a thousand secret order that I got a couple days ago and um, been just finishing up that. Right now I'm out of material. I'm waiting for some new laminate to show up. So I thought I'd go ahead and make a video and just try to update y'all. So I appreciate all the support. It's uh, officially a new year now. It's January 1st, 2024. I appreciate all the support from all y'all. It's been great so far. Um, everything has been kind of getting bigger than I thought that it would. Um, I mean, I've, I hope that it would get big like, you know, like it's starting to, and I really appreciate it. Um, Y'all been sending me emails, sending me letters, um, reaching out for help, and I appreciate that. Um, I'm sorry if I haven't been able to get back to everyone in a timely manner because I've been sick, but I've been trying to respond to everyone that I can. Um, I've got... A gentleman out in I think Seattle or Washington that reached out to me hang on real quick Raymond Raymond sorry I meant to get back to you I definitely want to do some business with you I appreciate you reaching out to me and I've just been so busy and swamped you're next on my list to reach back out to so I apologize for not uh, emailing you back calling you or anything yet but um Anyways, I just want to say I appreciate all the support. I'm hoping that this next year is going to be really when I can go full time with all this and quit my day job and just go ahead and and really, you know, really blow up the business real big. That's what I'm hoping for. I'm thinking about maybe getting some advertisements on the radio and um, working out a deal with that. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm hoping to really just really expand the business even bigger and bigger this year. So... This is where I want to really take a, a big push and um, and make it real successful. And, um, you know, I, I guess I don't have a whole lot to say in this little video. Um, things have still been good. I've still been getting in orders. But like I said, this stuff slowed down during the holidays, which I guess is expected. I'm going to give you all a brief little look right now. Um, this is the shop. Still kicking it. Um, everything's turned off at the moment. I got some stickers I need to laminate and cut. Like I said, I'm all out of laminate. Usually my laminate's on that roll right there. And um, I had a big trade show, or not trade show, but a big market that I went to. And that was cool. I had fun. And um, now I'm just trying to get back into the swing of things. I uh, had the big market and that takes up a lot of effort, a lot of energy. And then, um, and then we had Christmas and then I got sick. So kind of got sick during Christmas. And um, anyway, so now here's the new year and I'm ready to just keep keep things going and um, and expand things even more. You know, next opportunity I get, I'm going to upgrade, you know, my equipment some more. I know that uh, I want to take this time to reach out to some of y'all or talk to some of y'all that have been reaching out to me about making stickers with like a silhouette uh, cameo or with a cricket using like Epson printer and stuff. I need to make it clear that I'm no longer making stickers like that. I mean, it's great for getting started and trying to figure out if this is what you want to do. And it's great for just doing it for like indoor scrapbooking type stickers and stuff like that. But um, I've, I've discontinued any of that sort of, you know, using any of that sort of equipment um, because it's not professional grade. It's not high quality. It's not where I want to be. And so... Um, it's fine if y'all want to reach out to me, but my, my, my answers are going to be somewhat limited because I'm no longer using those machines. Um, honestly, my memory is not the greatest sometimes. Uh, the, the questions that y'all are asking me, if I wanted to answer y'all, I would have to go back and look through the videos, find out the answers in my videos, and then tell y'all the answers. So watch the videos and you're going to get any answers that I could possibly have because I don't use those machines anymore. I, I don't remember how to do all the settings. I don't remember, you know, what all I was choosing on, on all the options and all that. So y'all are just going to have to go through my videos and figure that out. That's why I've left those videos up there. I don't want to take them down because it's still information that people might find useful. But I want to make it clear. 
that I'm no longer using those. It's not uh, producing high quality waterproof fade resistant stickers. Um, good for indoors and, and that's it the way that I was doing it like that. So now I've moved on to using Substance Incorporated Vinyl, Substance Incorporated Laminate. I'm using a Roland BN20A printer. It's a cutter and a printer, but I only cut on that when I'm doing kiss cuts. I haven't really figured out doing kiss cuts on the, um, on the graph tech yet. I, I kind of know how to do it. I just honestly, it's kind of being lazy and just wanting to stay in the same groove of what I'm doing. I haven't gone into figuring out all the settings and how to do all that. Like I said, I'm just trying to make it simple. I'd rather just do perf cuts on everything. So right now, everything I'm doing is perf cuts. Um, right now I'm really just making die cut stickers. I'm doing the roll labels and I'm making banners using the Roland BN20A. So the, the only banners I can make maximum width is going to be 18 inches. Um, it can be as long as it needs to be because those rolls come in, I guess what, they're like 50 feet rolls. So they could be up to 50 feet long, uh, but it has a maximum width or banner you know i guess you'd be talking about the height of it would be a maximum height of 20 inches um the printed area is going to be 18 inches because there's a margin where the print where the uh, pinch rollers have to have to grab the, the material so um i'm really trying to keep it refined to those areas and not go off and do a bunch of other stuff i'm not trying to make t-shirts i'm not trying to um i don't want to do cut vinyl i don't like cut vinyl um I'd really rather leave that to other people and it's hard to turn down customers, but I'm not crazy about the cut vinyl at all. Um, I don't like weeding. I don't like weeding and I don't like the transfer tape. I can't stand that stuff. So I'm trying to stay away from that sort of stuff, but I do take on those jobs from time to time. Uh, mostly like large, large scale graphics for, uh, you know, which I can only do so large on the BN20, but um, I'm doing like uh, trailer and truck graphics and stuff like that from time to time. Um, but anyways, so anyways, just wanted to give y'all an update. I don't know if I meant to kind of show y'all. I don't know if y'all saw it. I've got this, uh, this thing I got here that'll, this little rack, retail rack, it'll hold stickers. It's double sided. It's, it's on wheels. It'll roll, it'll, um, turn around and has the same thing on the other side. So I can put a bunch of stickers on there for like the market events I go to and stuff. So that's pretty cool. I like that. I got that for a hundred bucks, um, from a place that was, not going well i guess they were going out of business they their rent got jacked up too high in austin and they decided to just go ahead and shut down that business because they already had some other businesses going on so anyways that's what's going on right now um again i just wanted to definitely thank all y'all for all the support um i think right now i'm at 846 subscribers I really need to get to a thousand subscribers. I need to get to 4,000 watch hours. I'm getting closer to that goal. Uh, I want to monetize this page because honestly, guys, I, I've, I've been candid with y'all. I'm an open book and I just want y'all to know when I can get monetized, you know, that's going to bring in ad revenue. You know, I'm going to start making a little bit of monthly income from this channel. And when I can do that, I'm going to be putting more production value into this channel. I'm going to be putting all that money back into this channel so that I can grow it into something bigger. I'm going to be giving you all more knowledge. I'm going to be able to buy more equipment, you know, and just make everything better. So any more support that I can get from y'all, I really appreciate it. I need to get to that thousand subscribers. I need y'all to go back and watch some of my old videos if you can and, and just, you know, get my watch hours up so that I can, because I'm closer to a thousand subscribers than I am close to 4,000 watch hours. So I need y'all's help with that. If, if there's any chance y'all can, you know, watch some of my old videos um, to help me get up with those hours because y'all have been real supportive and, and I really appreciate it. And um if anything's crazy, it's coming up on my screensaver back here. I'm sorry. I have no idea. I have client files on here, and so there's no telling what might pop up back there. Um, anyways, um, you know, I said thanks for everything. Happy New Year to everybody. I uh, hope all of y'all have a good 2024. And again, thanks for everything. I have some people asking, like, what's my website? It's uh, I thought all oh, that's kind of obvious, but it's MikeStickers.com. Um I have an app where you can order stuff directly through the app. So, I mean, if y'all want to order anything from me, I'm more than happy to make stickers for y'all. You know, my prices are ridiculously low. So, 
Um, you know, I have people criticize me about how cheap my prices are and how can I even run a business like that, you know? Hey man, if y'all wanna sell stickers at a higher price, that's up to y'all, but if you wanna get cheaper stickers, come to me, you know? Um, anyways, I'll see y'all later on. I'm gonna make some more videos soon here, but I just wanted to update y'all with what everything, everything that's going on right now. So y'all take it easy. Peace.